you are welcome to my channel mindset academy where we want to reproduce the figure that is displayed at the right hand side of the screen in isometric projection now if you look at the figure closely we are given two views of the figure which is the elevation and the plan and it is arranged in first angle right so when you hear the word isometric the first thing you should do is to draw your isometric axis right by placing your set square in this manner right and you draw your vertical line or better still place a set square this way right and you draw a line in this fashion you come here draw a line in this fashion and you place it this way also and you draw another line in this fashion and you take it up in this fashion this is where you are meeting you are at an angle of both 30 degree to each other and you drew for the vertical line this way right You can see that now with what we have here we are told that uh, the height is 160 right so i'll be making use of this here and i'll measure 160 so if i start from one right i'll be ending at what 17 but if i start from zero i'll end at 16 that is 170, 160, right? And the width that we have here will be the same. Why? Because if you look at the plan, the diameter is given to the word 52. So the width will be 26 in both sides, right? We're having 52, 52 in both sides, yes. So I'll measure 52 from this side from 0. To what? 52 from 0 to 52, right? And from another 0 to 52. So if here is 52, automatically this point here also is 52. And I'm going to take all this up, placing it on my T square. And I'll project each of this point upward. And I'll project this also upward. Right? And I'll close it up also in this fashion. And I'll close it too in this fashion. Right? So, you can easily bring this down so you can have a clearer view of what we're talking about. And I'll close it up too in this fashion. And here too. I'll close it up. So, this is what we have. Right? So, um if you look now at the top we're going to measure 32 downward from the top from the elevation here so i'm going to measure 32 downward so let me measure it from here first right so zero it is 30 32 here and at that point i'm going to draw my line this way and also draw the other one this way too and also draw this one this way too and also draw this right from the highest point I measure the two downward 
Now, aside from that, I'm going to get the center of this figure here. Right? But before we do that, from the base, you measure 120 up also. From here to here, 120. So from the base here, let me take it up. Right? I'm going to measure 120 up to. So let's measure that and see. So I measure 120. From zero. Here. To 12. Is 120. Right? From zero to 12. Is it 120? Yeah. From zero to 12 is 120. That is what we're having remaining there. So I'll form my box there in this fashion. And also in this fashion. Now what I have here, what I can see from the plan, that on top of this, there's a cube on it. And the cube has a dimension of 30. And you know the cube, all the sides, length and width are the same. So how would I get the center of the figure? I'll just draw the diagonal. So you can draw, get the center by drawing the diagonal. So if I draw the diagonal from here, and if I join the other diagonal from here, right? So this is the center here. So from that center, I'll draw my... X and Y line. I see that. So my own focus is this and this. So since it is 50, or is it? It is 30. So I am going to take 15 each. So I'll measure 15 millimeter on my meter root, which is half of 30, from 0 to 15. From 0 to where? 15. And I place at the center, I will mark 15 to the right, 15 up, 15 left, and uh, 15 down. Can you see that? After doing that, I will now draw my line this way. I will draw this this way too. And I will draw this this way. Now draw it this way. So it has formed the box here. Right? So I can just take one side up. One of the side up. Maybe here. Up. And what is distance given? Distance is given to be 32. Right? So I am going to measure 32 from that point. So from 0 to 32 is here. Right? From 0 to what? 232. I'll do it for all points. All the points. Then I'll start joining them together. So from here, I can easily take in this. From here, you can easily take in this, right? And also, let me break it down. Also, uh, from here, you can also take in this. From here, I'll just close it up. So you see what I've done. Can you see that? So I'm also taking from this point to this point, from this point to this point, from this point to this point, and from here 
copy here then from here to here so you can see what i've done now the base of this is lying on a circular plane so i've made it easier for myself what i'll just do is i'll just connect this end to this end here can you see that and also this end to this end here can you see that once i've done that it is now for me to use my compass so if i place the compass at this end i'll take it this end and i'll draw an arc this way just make it more visible so you see and if i come here also i'll do the same thing this at this end and i'll draw an arc this way can you see that then where it meets this diagonal line i draw this line where it touches the diagonal and touches here i'm going to draw another one here this way from here Take it to this point and I'll draw this. Right? So if I place it here, I'll take it to this point and I'll draw this. So I'm going to thicken that out. Right? So I'll do the same thing as the other part too by completing it. Just take my instrument to for the base one from this point I'll draw this this way and so this point I'll draw this this way so they are meeting here mark this point I show this point where they are meeting so join the diagonal the diagonal to the diagonal right then transfer the points from this point to touch the diagonal here and from this point to touch the diagonal here can you see that i can just mark here as my reference point and also here as my reference point so let's see how that goes so and which place again okay that what we have here so when i place my compass here you can easily get this point here Right, let's take it here and I'll draw. Can you see that? And uh, talking about this point here, right? I'll draw that arc, you see. And I'll come to this end here. I'll draw this. this line and this line. They're meeting here. This line, this point here, and this. So I'll close the top. I'm going to join these points together in this fashion. This is coming down here to touch this, and this is coming here to touch this, and I'll take in all this. Let me take it out. So, the essence is the other one. I can easily also get the center of this during the diagonal. So, if I join the diagonal together this way. We should really pass that center of this. We know the center of this one is here, where they meet this point here. I can just mark it down to the center. Right? So from that center, I'll divide it this way. And I'll also divide it this way. 
So with the radius of uh, giving here to be 24, I'll take just 12. Zero to 12. Right, so doing that, I'll just come to this point here and I'll mark 12 here, 12 here, 12 here, and 12 here. Can you see that? All 12. 12 here, here, and so on. So I'll take my instrument. I'm going to draw this line, this line, this line, and uh, this line. So I'm going to draw my curve here. That again, I'll draw my ellipse there. So I'll draw the diagonal, join this from this point to this point here, and from this point to this point here. So we we'll have this and this. So completing that, place it here to this point, I'll we'll have this. This is here to this point. We'll have this. Then this is here to this point. I'll have this. Then this is here to this point. I'll have this. So what I have here, I'm going to move that point from this center point here. I'll take it up to touch here. I'll come here also, move from the center point here. I'll take it up to touch here. Right? Then I'm going to take in this. So in taking this one, I'm going to have, some, I'll have something like this. So this is what we have here. You can see here. Right, that is why I did not take in this, and this is what we have to so successfully reproduce the figure that is displayed at the right hand side of the screen in isometric production. So, if you found this video helpful, please don't forget to like, subscribe, and also share the video. Thanks for watching.